Hello, welcome back to the Iron Man Wild Challenge with me, Shepo. In the last episode, well, what's happened? In the last episode, I've actually gone through a couple of attempts at recording the introduction to Booty Bay, and my PC has crashed twice. I think it's probably something to do with the heat. It's been really hot in the UK the past couple of weeks, and um, my poor old PC, it's getting on a bit. Now, um, I've actually done a couple of quests and I've lost the progress of that um, when my PC blue screened. Also, it is really scary having, on this challenge, having your PC blue screen. Because it could happen in mid-combat and that could be pretty much the game over. Thankfully, that didn't happen both of those times. I'm not going to save that keybind. I didn't. I have, however, just unbound one of my my interrupt. There we go. So um, we have quests to pick up again, and um, I w I will repeat them. Thankfully, I was on the way back to hand them in when it crashed, so we can redo those. Uh, okay. Help you. See Wolf McKinley. We've done a previous uh, quest for this guy. He's Bucky or a gambler or something, I don't know. I mean, he wants us to collect on some of his debts. We've already collected one of his debts. Now we're going to pick up three more. There's three phases to debt collecting. Asking nicely, asking forcefully, and something I like to call phase three. Unfortunately, collecting during phase three is something that this old dog can't do anymore. That's why I employ so many cronies, stooges, mooks, goons, and noble adventurers like yourself. Junts, Fitz, Tittle, Ephraim, Moonfall, and Mary Wilkins are hiding out on the eastern coast, and you should have no problem visiting them all in one trip and bring back their valuables. Be careful. Okay. Uh, I think there was. A, I think there was a quest on the just down here on the dock. Um, and I guess I should also point out, yeah, there's a quest there. I've also upgraded all of my armor. It's all vendor armor, but it was available at level 35. No, 33 maybe? Oh. 32. Yeah, not all of them. So my shoulder pads are really old, which is why they look out of place as well. I used to sail a ship from here all the way to Ratchet in Kalimdor. I was a successful captain with a sterling reputation. Until those cursed sea giants ruined me. They sash smashed my ship, killed my crew and set me on a lifeboat to Booty Bay. I will not rest until those corpses, their corpses pepper the ocean floor. One of the giants, Gorlash, stole my captain's chest. I hear Gorlash wanders the coast east of here. Find him and get back my chest. Do that, and you'll have earned a captain's gratitude. See you around. Okay. Um, and we will probably, whilst doing these quests, see a um, like a message in a bottle. It's a quest which will send us down to this island as well. So hopefully we see that. It can spawn in a random place, so maybe we won't see it just just yet. And of course, we're going to start encountering some of the Bloodsail Buccaneers, who are a rival faction to Booty Bay. I vaguely remember there being like w way more quests available in Booty Bay. Um, I think. I'm not sure. But I think once we get friendly reputation with them. We'll get some more quests opened up. So that's Gorlash killed. Uh, oh, and here, look, here's, here's the bottle. The half buried bottle. Inside the bottle, you find a note which reads In fairly good handwriting, to any that can aid me. Please, my need for help is dire. A great bottle. Oh, sorry, a great beast holds me captive on an island in the South Seas. 
The stars at night are foreign to me and obscured by the jungle trees, but on the clearest days I see shoreline to the northwest and what seems to be large sailing ships to the southwest. I beg of you, my would-be saviour, please help me. So we'll go we'll head over there. I'm not sure really why they need help. Because we're gonna swim over there. Maybe they can't swim, I don't know. Maybe they're locked up, but they must have been near water to get the the, the bottle thrown into the sea. That's Fitz Tittle's ratcheting talk wrench. So all of these uh, the, these three guys are up up this coast. So we've got one here, there. That's a bit awkward. I'm not sure whether he's going to patrol back or not. Ooh. We've got a rare Kermok. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, so we've got five and a half K XP for that. That's nice. I am on. An Ephraim Midriff Moonfall. I think he's called Midriff because he's got his Midriff out. I think he, he looks a little... I thought he was wearing a bra then for a moment. Not that that's, there's anything wrong with that. Uh, the gorillas are fascinating creatures, better than night elves, who do foolish things like gambling away all of their money and putting... And, so I'm getting put on Seawolf McKinley's hit list. So you know why I'm here. Then Pay up. And we're... This is phase three of debt collecting, and we're just killing them. So we've got Ephraim's Jeweled Mirror. And this one here as well. He's a zombie! Cool. So that's those three done. Um, I think we'll fly back. This is what blue screened my PC last time, so. <laughs> Hopefully that's not going to happen again. Great! I can get a good price for these, especially for what's inside Maui's foot. Thanks much, Einsheps. I hope these three have learned their lesson. Well, probably not. They're dead now. Don't bet something you can't afford to lose. And maybe it's too late for them, but they should be careful of who they gamble with. See you later. Cool, that's, uh, that's Maui done. Oh, we've got another quest here, look. Blackwater Raiders. First mate, Kraz. You seem eager to work, matey. Not sure why some land-loving gnome hunter is offering help to the Blackwater Raiders, but I'm not going to turn you away. We've made Booty Bay our happy home away from the high seas, but word has it that the Blood Sail have some new plan cooked up. All me boys are too busy hitting the grog and looking for ladies. What I need is a scout. Check the cove just north of Booty Bay along the Savage Coast to see what you can find. Keep it real! Um, okay. We had another quest to hand in. What can I do for you? Ahoy, Iron Sheps! You found it! What a glorious day for old Heckleberry this is! Getting by my chest... Getting back my chest cools some of the fire in me, but my revenge isn't complete. The next giant on my list is called Negolash. I remember vividly how he leapt from the sea foam and plucked poor poop deck Paul from the crow's nest. Swallowed him up in one gulp he did, and snapped my mizzen mast in two on the way down. No man of my crew deserves such a heinous death, so we're going to use Negolash's appetite against him. Kesley Yance should be able to sell you some meat 
and Whiskey Slim has enough booze to knock out, well, a sea giant. You'll find both of them in town. Okay. For the Alliance. Okay. Not sure whether it's up or down. The old port authority is probably in here. And who are we speaking to? Kesley Yance. Hello. And we're out on a crate of grade E meat. <laughs> Jesus. Safe travel. I don't really want to be keeping that in my backpack on such a warm day. There he is, look. My, you're a tall one. Cool. Be seeing you. And then what? A giant's feast. Just turn it in. Hey there. Uh, we're going to need a lot of food, Iron Chefs. Quantity over quality is the goal. That wasn't expensive, was it? Well, here's some pieces of eight to reimburse you. And now let's get onto this revenge, shall we? Uh, we're going to receive Yancey's special burger patty. Uh, edible, sort of. Have you considered going vegetarian? <laughs> and we've dinged. And we have a uh, tar trap. Take this food and put it in our old lifeboat southeast of here along the coast. When Nego Lash smells all of that food, he'll come running. And when he does, there'll be a stout hearted hunter ready to knock his corpse back into the briny deep. Cool. Have a good one. We'll do that later. What we're going to do is the blood cell back in it. Buccaneers. First, I think. And we might as well use our water store and just walk around. Now, I think they've simplified this quest because I vaguely remember the, th the quest item being a random drop off these mobs and it wasn't a particularly high drop rate or drop chance. Quest discovered. This old weathered coin was found on the body of pirate Good Boy Bruce. Its front side bears the image of a large, unfamiliar pirate ship. On its back side, the term Brash Tide Crew. Someone who has been in the piracy business for some time might know what this coin is or what it means. So we're getting we're getting rep with Booty Bay and losing rep with Blood Cell Buccaneers each time that happens, so that's good, I guess. Uh, report your findings to first mate Kraz in Booty Bay. Uh, where are we going? Over here first. Time is money, friend! Shiver me timbers! So the Blood Cell Buccaneers are planning some sort of attack on Booty Bay. Why the nerve of those scoundrels, Booty Bay, will always be run by the Blackwater Raiders. This is bigger than I thought. Report what you have learned to Baron Reveral Gaz at once. You will find him here in Booty Bay. <laughs> Glad I, could I think help. he's like... Is he the boss? Yeah, he's up there. Look, I think that's him. Keep your nose clean in my town. Blood Cell Buccaneers attacking Booty Bay? This isn't the first time that those blackguards have tried something. Booty Bay is impenetrable. Sounds like they might be changing their strategies up though. Wouldn't put it past Firalun to try something crazy. Very, very well, let's see what they're up to. I want to know details, Iron Sheps. Our supremacy over the Blood Cell is due largely in part to our stronghold here in Booty Bay but intelligence also plays a critical role. The Blood Cell maintain a few meagre camps to the south, which they call their Southern Command. Well, you're going to raid their excuse for Southern Command, find their plans, and slaughter their men. Return with whatever information you can find. Certainly. Oh, what's that you've got there, Gnome? Let me see it. That coin, where did you get it? Bruce, yes, I see. He was one of the Blackwater Raiders once. One of us, before Greymane closed the Gilneas ports and held his crew captive. I know what happened in Gil Gilneas changed the people there, but I never expected them to change our loyalties. Especially not Bruce. 
If you wouldn't mind, could I keep the coin? I'll pay its worth in gold. What? Not even one gold. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, and did he just did he just throw it in the water? I think he did. Got another quest here from League from Blackwater Raiders. What's on your mind? Ah, the sea life. I ain't gonna say it's the good life, but it's my life. When I get into port, I like to find me some good bottle of grog and some high quality snuff. Nasty habits, but what's a pirate's? What's a pirate without his vices, right? So you can imagine how heartbroken I was to find out the herbalist here in town has gone and sold out of the stuff. Says the shipment was got hijacked by those damn blood cell raiders. I bet a fearless hunter like you could convince them to share the goods, eh? Watch your okay, so we're getting more reasons to go to the blood cell buccaneers or blood cell raiders. And um, so let's get on that. If I can find my way out of the inn. And um, so I don't, it's probably quicker to go the normal way because we've got quest three there to pick up Negolash. Have they changed this? You used to be able to run. Oh, there's another quest there. You used to be able to run across that way. Light be with you. Keep an eye out. Avast, who goes there? Ah, oh, guy, I'm a bit useless without my special enchanted eye. But enough to. But bad enough to have lost me eyes in battle in the first place. But by some stroke of luck, we docked in Menethil and a travelling wizard enchanted a special glass eye that let me see again. Last night, I ended up getting jumped by some blood cell buccaneers on my way out. Took me eye, they did. Seems those blokes have found their way to Booty Bay. Okay, well that was a stroke of luck like for us to find him because we're now going to have more XP from killing Blood Sail. So we are literally just killing Blood Sail here. There's so many of them we, we don't really need to kill the ones around here. We'll, we'll get on and actually kind of head to the, where the quests are. Negolash first. We have what's this? That's a pet battle. I'm not really interested in pet battles. I'm not even sure whether we can do pet battles as part of the Iron Man challenge. Has that worked? Yeah. I have a buff. I'm not sure that that'll probably go when I finish the quest. Um, it's giving me nothing, so in terms of as somebody always does, you failed because you had a buff. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Let's pick that quest up again. He's dropped absolutely nothing, which is very rare in World of Warcraft. I guess we can now, I can actually cancel that buff. And we've got Dizzy's Eye, some snuff, and some Blood Cell stuff as well. We have to be quite careful, one of the checks for the for this challenge is other people getting killing blows on mobs for us. We have too many, then we will get flagged and fail the challenge. Wow. We could really do with that person not being around here, but that's fine. Mind you. If they want to go and kill all of the mobs and we'll pick up the items, then that's fine. Let's head out over to these islands. I know there's loads more blood sail over here. I 
She need quite a lot of those. Wow. Dizzy's eye. Uh, it's a bit of a shame to get onto this sh ship because we will definitely have to come back here later. Again. Pretty boy Duncan. Bunny, you did well. Very nearly died. We got no snuff, which is uh, annoying. This is the thing, as doing this challenge things are dying very quickly but we are unbelievably squishy just two mobs there just very nearly killed our pet and when our pet's dead then we're, we're kind of stuck reviving a pet is a lot quicker now than it used to be so as long as we can get a bit of distance then um, it's probably not going to be game over What's going on there? Somebody doing a pet battle, I think. Yeah. Has to be. So we need um, four sea dogs and five elder mages. There's a sea dog. Hopefully this means they've all respawned. And there aren't any more here. That is oh speak of the devils. Well met, traveller. There's opportunity to be had here if you're clever enough. 
Perfect, Iron Chaps. Now that we know their plan, it's just a matter of time. And to think the fools have dropped anchor just off the cape. Oh, we've got a, a gun. Interesting, we'll have the gun. Can't use it. These plans are interesting. Virulin, you're smarter than this. Look, he has all three ships devoted to cannon fire and only a few men coming in through the tunnel. He can never take Booty Bay with three ships and a dozen footmen. And he knows that. No, they've got something else planned and you're going to find out what it is. Speak to Yancey Grilson, the blood cell recruiter just to the north of town. That's right, Iron Sheps, you better hope that they don't recognise your face. Okay, that actually does sound like it's a new quest. Any luck finding the goods, matey? Good show, Iron Sheps, and just before I needed to ship out to, can't thank you enough, old friend. Be good. You're welcome. And... Still looking the wrong way. Well met. Ahoy, me bucko, might not be able to see, but I can smell you from halfway across port. Could really use my eye back. Captain's going to kill me when he finds out me peepo is in the hands of them dirty blood cell buccaneers. What good is a lookout you can't see? Shiver me timbers and timber me shivers, ye found me beautiful eye, let's see if she still fits. Iron Sheps, ho, blimey, I can see. Go with honour, friend. You're welcome. Pirates don't even say thank you. <laughs> Can I help you? I can't believe my fortune, Iron Chips. Meeting you has turned my luck to the better. Make no mistake there. If I ever get a new ship and you're looking to sail the seas, you would be my honoured guest. Mokrash, the cleaver, is the last of the lot, and he's the largest, by my memory. Taller than a wave in a windstorm, and with a beard like a kelp forest and a hammer like an oak tree. He taunts me from Janeiro's Point, the island right off the end of this very pier. It's because of him that I'm still trapped here, living this lamentable landlubber's life. If you can swim, then head out to Janeiro's Point and slay Mokrash. Take care, Iron Sheps. My crash will not lay down as easily as his brothers. Oh, they were his brothers. Now I feel a little bit bad. My crash for the cleaver. Did this guy not used to be an elite. I think he did. But not anymore. And I vaguely remember there being... Oh, maybe we can't get in there, can we? I think there used to be something in the uh, statue. I know there's gold in there, but I think it might be, it used to be an item or something. Maybe not. Oh, he's back! Swine, I'm not going to kill him again. Greetings. Mokrash, Negolash, Gorlash. They're all gone. I suppose I have no excuses now. I can return to the high seas and a life of pillage and booty. It's all thanks to you. Now I just need to get myself a ship. <laughs> See you around. That I can't help you with, unfortunately, Captain Smots. Okay, well, that's us done for this episode. Um, our PC didn't blue screen, thankfully, in this uh, ridiculous heat. Join me in the next episode when we're going to continue our... A fact-finding mission against the Blood Cell Buccaneers, and uh, yeah, see you then. Bye!